heat energy is transferred to our environment via the skin. Some heat is also lost in other ways, for example via your lungs and excretions. Now, whether this loss is a good thing depends on whether you're hot or cold. If you're cold, you want to keep heat, and if you're hot, you want to lose as much heat as possible. Blood vessels near the skin can regulate the amount of heat lost. But how do the blood vessels do this? When we're cold, our bodies reduce blood flow near the skin. You might have noticed that when you're cold, your blood vessels become less visible and the skin becomes paler. This is because a nerve impulse from the brain causes a blood vessel near the skin to constrict. Shunt vessels will widen to provide another pathway for this blood. As a result, there's less heat loss from the skin overall. The narrowing of blood vessels at the surface of the skin is called vasoconstriction. Vaso refers to vascular, meaning to do with the blood vessels, and constriction means tightening. So what's the opposite of vasoconstriction? When we are hot, our bodies increase blood flow near the skin. Again, when you've noticed that you're too warm, you might find that your blood vessels are more visible and your skin becomes redder or darker. This is caused by a nerve impulse from the brain, but this time it causes the blood vessel near the skin to dilate. The shunt vessel instead constricts to direct more blood to the skin, giving more heat loss overall. The widening of blood vessels at the surface of the skin is called vasodilation. Again, vaso refers to vascular, meaning to do with the blood vessels, and dilation means widening, like when the pupils dilate. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!